Hello and welcome to episode 99 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on jewellery smithing. We will make a ring, a necklace and a bracelet. First, some notes on jewellery. Jewellery is primarily used for selling to traders and sacrificing at altars for favour. Some of the jewellery made can be worn. Jewellery smithing primar primarily uses gold and silver lumps. Gold and silver lumps weigh 0 0.10 kilograms, where iron weighs 1 kilogram, as you know. So just to quickly show you, if I open the forge up and open my cauldrons, in here I've put some iron lumps that have not been combined and you will see that the weight is 0 0.10. Now if it was an iron lump of course it would be 1.00. So as you can see you only get a fraction of the weight when you're using mining and smelting gold and silver. But thankfully with the, the items that you make for improving they only use 0 0.01 of the material so out of one lump you could improve 10 times so it's all not that bad not as bad as it seems moving on gold jewelry is the most valuable followed by silver and lastly iron so that should tell you you can make jewelry out of iron so that's the free materials. Okay, so that being said, let's now make a ring, bracelet and necklace. So what I'll do, let's open up my inventory. To make these we will need a small, small anvil and the necessary materials. So I will start by making the ring and I shall use silver. So let's have a look. I'll use this lower quality one for the creation. We're going to use the recipe window, so let's bring that up. Okay, so as you can see here, I've um, I've actually not typed anything. In the first list that you're presented with, okay, it's broken down into different items as you can see and I just scroll through to jewellery so if we're looking we're looking for a silver ring which is there it, we're going to be using the skill jewellery smithing now you'll remember in the previous episode on pendulums finding water to create our well that's what I got my jewellery smithing started with so anyway let's now look at the silver ring so we will need a silver lump and the small anvil. Okay, let's grab, that's far too big, let's move that up. Okay, let's grab the silver lump, which is lower quality, and the anvil. Now right click on the silver ring and add to the crafting window. Okay, so under jewellery, I'll choose that. And we will create. Okay, so there we are, we have a silver ring. Next, let's create a bracelet. Notice the, um, the easiest one to make is the bracelet. And I'm not, I can't remember whether it's the necklace or the bracelet. One of them uses 0 0.03 as opposed to 0, 0.0 what was the ring? The ring was 0 0.05 so let's check the weight of the bracelet next okay I wanna check so 227 let's try again hmm so that used 30 yeah, this is the big one, the bracelet. So the bracelet, you can see, is the easiest to make. 
but not necessarily the best to train your jewellery smithing with because it's going to use a bigger chunk of your a much much bigger chunk of your materials so let's do next the necklace and create and let's see how much material this uses Okay, that uses 10. So the clear winner there for training your jewellery skill is going to be the uh, ring because that uses 0 0.05 of the material to create. But then again, where you'll be getting most of your skill is through improving, imping. So perhaps you could do, I would say you'd do about 20 rings and then imp them all up. That will get your skill up nicely. Anyway, so that's silver. Next, let's take a look at gold, which is the more precious material and is going to be more difficult to make. So I'll take the 10 lumps that I've got there and combine them. And let's see. Are there any good qualities? Let's see if this is enough to create. We'll start with the ring. So it's actually the same difficulties as silver. I'm sure I read in the wiki that gold was more difficult, but according to this, exactly the same difficulty, unless it's just not updated. Um, let's close that. Let's try it find the gold ring just to make sure okay so where is the gold ring there it is okay so again small anvil gold lump I'll add the gold ring and let's check again yes yeah, exactly the same well there we go there's the facts on that right let's create a gold ring first of all Right, okay, so we've got our gold ring. Next, let's make the bracelet. Oh, yeah, that used a chunk of our material again. And lastly, a necklace. Yeah, and this one wants to prove difficult. Well, I've got plenty of gold because I was down in the mine earlier. Busily mining away. Loads of gold and loads of silver. Oh, wow. So this one is proving very difficult to make. You can all see who's got the train up their jewellery smithing, that's for sure. Cool, at last, there we go. So there is our gold ring, our gold bracelet and gold necklace alongside our silver. Okay, when you reach, if you reach 50 in jewelry smithing, you will get the title goldsmith, which leads me to the next competition. Time to have another competition. There is no time limit on this competition. Basically, the first person to, to leave a comment with a picture showing they have achieved, uh, reached level 50 in jewellery smithing. So they've got their jewellery smithing to 50.00, will be the winner of this competition. And if they wish, they can then join us on Irvinvale and have a lovely time with a wonderful bunch of folks that are here with us on this server. So there we have it, new competition. Whoever out there listening, watching this episode, the first one who leaves a comment, who manages to reach 15 jewellery smithing and gains the goldsmith title, 
you are welcome to join us on our server and have a lot of fun with us all. Okay, I will leave you with this final thought. There are three uses for rings, bracelets and necklaces. Number one, selling them to a trader. Number two, sacrificing to an altar for favour. And number three will be in the next episode, episode 100. Time to get magical, my Wormian friends. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. And I wish you luck with your jewellery smithing. Oh, one little last thing to show you, of course, with the jewellery. I mean, I have to do this, don't I? Silly of me not to. Is to, well, I wanted to actually show putting some of it on. I think I've got the space. Yeah, if we equip, there's the necklace. There's the ring. There's the other ring. Look at this, I look like a right dandy now, don't I? Oh, and I've got an achievement. You beauty. Well, that says it all. Goodbye.